Tweedle is the big one. <laughs> I'd say dwarves are safe. Like, you gotta hit Lordy on six, and usually you're like specking on them early, and it's not usually good to spec on them. Like, I think the main way, the only way that I've gotten into dwarves, aside from APOC this patch, has been I have like an upgraded Sporko and I'm buying Tweedles for tempo. And I happen to have two Tweedles and see a Lordy on 6.0. Give Cindy free roll. What do you do? Cindy free roll lock. Taking the Cindy every time. You'll get the buffed units soon. Next turn, you buy the buffed unit roll, and then on turn four, or on the four gold turn, you get to buy two units. Where normally you wouldn't be able to buy something that's buffed, you get to buy something that's buffed. It's a pretty good competitive board. Tree beat every board and bow. Just like pure mirror scam isn't that good. Your opponent can play Deuces to ruin your scam. If your Deuces don't die when they attack, then they, the mirror value doesn't really matter. I'm not the Cindy. I'm not triggering at this turn. I'd rather just buy stuff that helps me not die. I'm not gonna buy Cindy and then play Forbidden Fruit. Animals can beat it, Slay can beat it. A good boy that attacks first can beat it. Pumpkin boards with like two pumpkins on the back line are probably good against it. Boards with like deuces in one, pretty good for denying mirror value. It's the one that I didn't want to hit. Yeah, Ninth Book Mirror Mimic is a way stronger board than Deuce Scam. I normally skip Ray Princess on three. Nope. I was hoping to get it with the Eeny Meeny, but I wanted to buy the Spell Weaver a little bit more. Pretty good. Could be Knighted Arthur. Got all the options. Shift the cats over for Ring on Weaver. Oh, yeah, I should do that. Put them in here. A little bit better. Cindy. Um, yeah. That's 
just get the men boost. Ow. What? Game. Game. Knighthood targets. Any knighthood targets at all? <laughs> I hate zero so much. Uh, okay. Next turn for sure. So, I could Knighthood Vulture. I really want a Knighthood Vulture. A Knighthood Monster Book. I think I'm buying the Monster Book. We don't have enough gold to buy that. stash there because I didn't want the other options and stash is better than skip. I'm probably in line to lose some fights too. I don't even remember what the other treasures were. They're just like blanks compared to stash. Runestones. I don't really want runestones. I want a pair of black cats that could upgrade into a three treasure, but aside from that. I didn't need to not die. got bigger. It's called Panic Mages. It's I knighthooded the monster book because there was a copycat in the shop. So let's hope it's good enough. Spells. Fine. Leaving this in. As well. If I take the court wizard, where does it go? 
So I want to put the A on him. Which means I'm taking out a royal already. Copycat or moving it to two. Uh, I mean, depends how much you risk averse. The copycat gets better with the Aeon, because now it's gonna have some attack. I don't know, I feel like you need to high roll super hard to win with this comp. And this is the play that gives me the chance to high roll super hard. Yeah, that's about the worst thing that can happen. Okay. Some way. So one more turn until Storm Kings. Silphua. Princess. Could be Aeon over Princess, too. I don't know. I think of back row Aeon. Uh, I think I care more about the Wizard's Familiar living than the Aeon living. Board needs the health. Well, not necessarily. I don't know exactly how strong the Zell is. Oh, yeah. He has a dragon. chance. I can't take Echo, right? Good boy. Monster book would be more high roll. Yeah, it would be. The Weaver is also less likely to be alive when the uh, the books in the back trigger. I think this is a good blend of playing to high roll and playing to not die. about the Aeon Slaying. I've only got the one spell cast per turn anyway. I'm not going to make my board even slightly weaker to improve the odds of the Aeon Slaying.
Okay, fun time. Still casting one spell a turn. This is good. It's a lot of spells. This is worth doing when the copycat upgrades. Nah, Aeon, Aeon's trigger from bench when you cast spells from shop. It won't trigger from bench on the uh, copycat. We'll do this. This is a reasonable middle ground. So that's interesting. I think I just want to find more Storm Kings. Like, I have boots, so it's not like I need to uh, reduce the odds of Copycat getting sniped. Did I lose to this peep? got scam potential. Mage board wins. Actually rewarded. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> I thought that cell was complete nonsense. It's the only thing you want to buy. It's just so good if you hit. Go. Uh, yeah. There's just few enough combats. I don't know. That means I can't cast like spell uh, coins or drink potions, but probably fine. Uh oh, scary. Cool. 
help. Oops. Oh, am I still alive? I've been hitting? The really scary fights were a while ago. Yeah, that can be happy cats cheeky. I think I'd rather just have the monster book in though. Are we gonna win? Depends on the shops. Yeah, I shouldn't I should have looked before snap going, but whatever. Greed for ghost. I don't wanna greed too hard. Like if I try to greed this, what am I taking out? I'm taking out the second monster book, what's the point? I could try to like copycat in two. But I don't know. Then like copycat gets sniped and sad things happen. It's not like the ghost is less likely to snipe the copycat on two than a normal board. <laughs> it's a little late. Uh, copycat me. So I can't buy a Storm King anyway. I get like a Shrivel. A Lightning Bolt. It's relevant against his last board. Get that Lightning Dragons. Yeah, they, uh, better miss the monster book. I guess I could... do this. That way the lightning dragons can run into the Scion of the Storm. Okay. Well, that's annoying. So he found all the Storm Kings, so I guess we're going to lose. Nothing matters. some balloons. 